today is Sunday. It's March. Why did I say March? It's May 6th. Um, and it's a little afternoon. I've been up for a while just getting dressed and things like that. Um, Patrick and I... Sorry, my phone has a thing on it. Um, Patrick and I go up to Walmart real quick. I want to get the cube storage thing or at least see if they have it. If not, um, we have errands planned on Tuesday and it'll take us near Gardner um, with Dad. Dad has plans that day. So, um, so I can try that Walmart too, but I want to see if the one in town has it because if not, then we're going to Gardner anyway. But if I don't have to, you know, I'd rather just get it out of the way today. And then I'm going to stream Spyro. I'm going to beat the third game and then I'll be done with that and I can go back to Final Fantasy. So that's the plan today. All right, so... Uh, Walmart didn't have what I was looking for, and according to the website, it doesn't really appear in stores often. The smaller one does, but the big one, it looks like we're going to have to order it online. So I'm going to wait a couple days before I do that, because I'm going to make my button order tomorrow. So, yeah, but I'm going to step up, and I'm going to stream Spyro 3. I just watched the new Steven Universe. I won't say spoilers, because I don't know how long, it, like, even though this vlog is going to go up in a few weeks. So I won't say spoilers because I hate it when other people spoil things for me, but... Oh my god! <gasps> oh, Steven Universe fan art is happening! And I definitely gotta rewatch it now, and oh my god, just... <sighs> Hello! So it's Friday! I have not vlogged in a while. I think the last time I vlogged might have been Sunday. Oops. <laughs> um, I had, I had intended to vlog more during the week, um, but every time I thought about it I was like I'll do it a little later this afternoon and then I just wind up not doing it so um yeah I'm actually kind of busy so it's weird because usually when stuff happens I vlog a lot but I got caught up in what was going on mostly what happened is I got a lot of my convention stuff in the mail this week not all of it some of it's coming next week but most of it came in so I will show you what I've received so far um I have these two boxes I marked out my, um, crossed, crossed off my address with a sharpie, but still I'm going to be careful not to like show it. So yeah, so I'll show you what I got. All right. So first I have this teeny little box. This came on Tuesday, I want to say. Where is the front? Um, this is from gotprint.com. Where's the front? Where's the front? This is a lot harder to do one handed. There it is. And this is from gotprint.com and I got business cards made. I used them instead of Moo or Vistaprint like everyone else does is because this was actually cheaper for me to do. I got a hundred of them um, with rounded corners because I really like rounded corners. Standard um, business card size. Two by three, uh, two and a half by three or something I think is what it is or two by three. Um, with Lion because of course Lion is one of my favorite pieces. And then I chose like this kind of darkish purple because it matched Lion. Um, I don't think I'm going to ever make business cards, you know, with my art on them that have like a branding color, like one color palette that I use throughout. I think I'm always going to make the back sort of match the art that's on it. Um, unless I do like a generic one with like my face or like an illustration of my face or something like that. But yeah, um, these are 16 point cardstock. Um, mat and uh, they've got a bit of a weight to them they're not really flimsy which is what I like so when I got my samples in the mail which got print does free sampling by the way um, I basically felled each card type until I liked the weight and then uh, that's the one that I wanted to do and it didn't cost a lot of money with shipping from California and I live in Massachusetts with shipping it cost me like 20 bucks to get these which is pretty good so, yeah, if you're looking for business cards, gotbritain.com, they do free paper samples. They're located in California, so if you're on the West Coast, you'd probably get them faster than I did. It took me <coughs> about two weeks total from sending in the design for it to get printed and then shipped and for it to arrive. But I live in Massachusetts, and I didn't pick expedited shipping because my convention's not for another month. So, not in a hurry. But, yeah. So that was really nice. Um, and then the really big one is my, uh, has my cat print order in there. So let me get that open. Okay, so on top I have a clear bags order. That came in this morning and 
the actual thing it came in was sort of like this flimsy cardboard that's folded in on itself and taped up. And like it's plastic bags. It doesn't need anything fancy. But it, it wasn't something I could keep them in, so I just threw them in the clear bags box, which is very sturdy, by the way. I'm going to use this to hold them just to store my prints. Uh, they gave me a little catalog, which is nice. But I ordered three sizes. This is the five and a quarter by seven and an eighth, so this will fit five by sevens. This is, oh my goodness, nine and seven sixteenths by twelve and a quarter, so this will fit nine by twelves, which is what my originals generally are. And I'm also going to use this to fit basically anything that's bigger than a five by seven and smaller than this. Like I have some originals that are like seven by ten and eight by ten and stuff. Um, and I plan to sell a few originals at the convention and if not, you know, it's just good to have because this is what my paper size is when I paint. So, and you know, eight dollars for a bag of a hundred at Clear Bags is pretty good. And then these are the, this is the big one. These are the 11, 7 by 6, 7 sixteenths and 17 and 17 and a quarter. So these are for our 11 by 17s, which are the largest print size I'm going to do. It's tabloid size. <clears throat> so there's those. I have a hundred of each. Likely not going to have to order any more of those for quite some time. So, and these are my prints. Haha, <laughs> I stuck them back in the plastic bag they came in. These are my, um, hard copy proofs. So I, this is not the final print order that's um, still being processed. So let me clear off my art table and show you. Okay. So these are my hard copy proofs of my 5x7s. I did my Raven from Inktober last year. I did Moana. Um, a lot of these are Inktober actually. Holtzman from Inktober, actually not last year. This is Inktober two years ago. This was uh, 2016's Inktober. Because that's the one I made all the videos for. Uh, my Chobits piece. And then Wednesday from Inktober. So, and I really like how these turned out. So these are the hard copy proofs for my 5x7s. And the main, oh, I, I approved the main order. So that's being sent out. Um, and cat print does free hard copy proofs at least for the first time if you ask for more it's ten dollars as a flat fee but they also do free online proofing which was something i had to utilize and i'll show you why in a second all right these are my 11 by 17s so i got my uh, a day of the dead piece um and then i got my selkie uh it's really big trico my a series of unfortunate events piece and naturally i got lion and the reason i didn't show you selkie first off is because this one had an error it had a major error i don't know how i missed it in the digital file but that and like this ghosting thing is because when i scan it in i it, it, my uh, 9 by 12s are bigger than my scanner so i scan them in half and half and then i, I merge them in photoshop but clearly these were not aligned and i didn't notice that on the screen but 11 by 17 it's very obvious so I sent them a new file for this one and uh, so that's good so this particular piece I don't even know if I'm going to use it as my display print I might just sell this as a discount as a misprint because this is like yeah whoops <laughs> so. oh yeah I forgot to mention for my uh, for my cat print orders um, they also sell you they also can send you free um, paper samples, but I had to pay postage on it, so be warned. Um, I, you're not originally supposed to pay postage on it, but the, the U.S. Postal Service changed uh, what they charge now for postage um, in January, so if you do get free paper samples from Cat Print, um, be prepared. You might have to pay the postage if you live in the U.S., because I don't think they've changed the way they package them after the USPS changed their um, pricing but anyway um i got the light card stock um uh, matte um i usually get matte i like matte better for pieces that were done traditionally um because the gloss just doesn't really work well with like watercolor texture and stuff um but yeah light card stock and it feels good in both sizes like even the the 11 by 17s they feel pretty sturdy um and it's also really affordable i may do like nicer papers for like specialty things but I might try this as like my 
default paper and it was also really affordable like I mentioned. Um, the 5x7s cost a little bit more than the 11x17s um, because they do discount sizing, they do discount prices for poster size. So the 11x17s are like, um, I got 25 sheets of paper basically. I got five different prints and five copies of each because it's a small convention. So the 11x17s were 16 something for all 25 sheets of paper, which is pretty good. And then the 5x7s were about $19. So my total order with shipping was about $45, somewhere in that ballpark. I'd have to look it up. But still, it's pretty good and there's no minimum order quantity. And their customer service is amazing because I had this, this issue that was totally my fault and I emailed them and they're like, yeah, sure, send us the file and an email. We'll send you an on, and I asked for an online proof and I had the online proof within like 30 minutes and it looked great. And I approve the order and I should have it next week. Um, and also because they're in Rochester, New York and I'm in Western Massachusetts, I had it in two days after it had shipped. So, but that's more of like a convenience. Like I'm really closely located to them so I don't have to wait on shipping very much. But um, from what it looks like online, their shipping is pretty good for, like just, they're just, they're just really good. <laughs> so, you know, if you're looking to do art prints, I highly recommend them because for starters, the no minimum order quantity thing is really nice. So, I'm not quite done yet. I've got a couple more things. Okay, so yesterday, um, I got my button order in. I ordered some small one and a quarter inch round buttons from Wacky Buttons because the, um, their pricing was the cheapest and they're also located in Rochester, New York. So, I had those in like two days um, and I ordered one of each. They don't do hard copy prints, but each button is 55 cents for this size and um, it doesn't start to get cheaper than that until you order like over a hundred of them. So I ordered one of each as like my own test to see what they look like and then I, I liked them so I ordered more and they're already shipped. So yeah, um, I actually made a display thing for it because the um, I got one of those tackle boxes to put my buttons in, but considering I'm only getting five designs and I'm only getting five of each that tackle box is way too big so uh, that's just gonna be a storage thing for at the convention to keep like my pens and stuff um, so I built a display using cardboard fleece and cardstock and some velcro and glue I found the actual design on tumblr in an artist alley uh, like how-to page or blog or whatever so yeah and I ran out yesterday and ran up to Walmart and Hobby Lobby to get everything so this is what it looks like so these are my buttons about Lion, naturally. Eleven from Inktober. Michonne from Inktober. And then my Day of the Dead and my Selkie. This is the same file that's messed up. Because um, it's got sent before I fixed it. But the actual error is like fur way further down the image. So it's not noticeable. So I didn't feel the need to fix the button file. So this is actually two sheets. So cardboard, fleece is glued around it. And then this is a piece scrapbook paper that I got at Hobby Lobby. It's sort of a mint green with sparkles and mint green is kind of my favorite color right now. So I definitely want to do like mint green is like a branding color. So yeah, so I glued a separate piece of fleece to that and then there's Velcro. So there's a lot of Velcro and I didn't glue the fleece on the front page. So it kind of wants to come up. But this is a temporary solution basically, just something for the convention. And while I don't have a lot of buttons, um, and then when I start getting way more designs, which I totally plan on doing because making buttons is a lot of fun. All right, I can't take that off with one hand, but you kind of see how it works. So I can take this off, move the buttons in place and stick it back on. And I'm just gonna get like a, a little photo display stand at Dollar Tree when I'm in Lola next week and just prop it up. So yeah, so there's my buttons. Almost done. I really should have been vlogging more this week, but like I said, I got caught up in stuff and then I just kind of forgot. And then I was watching um, Hello Alice's Week in the Life of an Artist video. It's paused on my screen right now, actually. It's a very vlog style video, which kind of made me like realize like I haven't done this in a while. So yeah. So I got bored last night and I started playing around. I have these little, um, these little canvases. I've had them for a while. Not this particular one, this one I bought today. But I've had them for a while and I was kind of bored and I was trying to think of like more like merch ideas for conventions and I wound up making these last night and today with my Posca pens. So it's the, the first 
the Kanto starters. And I had a lot of fun making them. I might tweak the designs a little bit, but as my very first attempt, you know, I'm pretty happy with them. You know, I think they look cute. Um, and I liked them so much that I went to Hobby Lobby and I got, uh, there's actually a third bag of these in my drawer. I just forgot to grab them. Um, and I bought three packs of these. So I have enough to do all of the starters. Um, these are very, slightly larger than the ones I had, but it's barely like, it's really not a big difference. So that's something I'm going to work on. But, um, today what I really need to do is get my videos done. My art video is scheduled and ready to go. I'm uploading a vlog. I need to clean up my files and, um, I have my art video for next week recorded already. So I need to edit that. And then I need to start making plans for my challenge video, which is going to go up the week after that, because I want to get as ahead as much as I possibly can. Because June's going to be crazy. June is the convention month. I'm also going to be house-sitting for a week. Can I open the drawer with one hand? Barely. I'm also replacing this. I already ordered the storage unit. It's a cube storage thing from Walmart. It's got eight cubes, and the dimensions are basically the same as this. It's very, it's like an inch wider, but it's the same height. So this thing, bucket thing is going away. I told Patrick he could have it and put it up next to the TV to keep his games in if he wants to. It's up to him, but this isn't working for me anymore. So it's going. Um, but yeah, June is going to be insane because I'm house sitting for the week before the convention and there's a drag show. Like I'm leaving for a drag show and then house sitting for a week and then I have a convention. Like it's insane. So I want to get as many videos done as possible because recording and editing and uploading in time is going to be a little difficult and I have very ambitious plans for videos in June because you know why not make it harder for myself right? Um, basically what I'm planning on doing is all of my art videos in June are going to be convention related. So the first two weeks are going to be like prep. First three weeks actually might be prep um, of like where I got my supplies how I made stuff like I recorded myself making that display and I also recorded myself making the banner last month um, so I'll probably do that and then I'm also like the last video of the month is going to be the week after the convention and that's going to be like post convention thoughts and stuff so basically the entire month is just convention month with my art videos so I need planning I need to plan that and make sure I have enough clips ready before I leave so that's why I'm trying to get a head start on all of the videos for me so yeah um, I do know what I'm gonna do for the challenge video like I obviously know the material because I made up the challenge and still have to make sure other people are on board with it um, but I'm still doing it regardless um, I already know I'm gonna do a mermaid because it's mermaid right now um, and I haven't done any mermaids at all this month so I figured why not for the challenge um, do a mermaid to kind of participate in mermaid a little bit and then just the challenge will be the material so yeah anyway i think that's good for an update um probably not going to vlog again until next week when the rest of my stuff comes in i got the storage unit and i got my final button order and my final print order and then i also ordered two posca pens from jet pen um find the extra fine tips in black and white so i can do better details on those pokemon starters because trying to do fine details with the ones I had was a little difficult, so I just I bought some new pens. So, yeah. Hello, so it's Saturday. Um, today it's kind of rainy and gross out, so not a whole lot's been going on. My art video went up and it was just a sketchbook tour, so I'm not expecting a lot of engagement with that one. Those don't usually get a lot, but it was something for this week, basically. Um, so what I've just been doing is file maintenance with my vlog channel, basically. I got the most recent edited vlogs uploaded and scheduled. I backed up all my files onto my hard drive and I've been working on updating the Excel sheet because I use that to work on the montage, which I haven't started yet. Um, I might wind up doing that during house sitting like I did last year, maybe, because it's also the week before the convention, so I don't know. Um, but because I haven't been vlogging as consistently as I did last year, I don't have nearly as many files. Um, so. Yeah, doing the montage might be easier this year, but right now I just need to get this thing uploaded, this thing, um, 
caught up because I hadn't edited this file since um what looked like November. So yeah, I'm like way behind. So I had to vlog this. Uh, it's 10.30. It's almost 11 at night, actually. Um, I'm not going to bed anytime soon, but I just spent the last, I don't know, two some odd hours messing around with my Artist Alley stuff because I wanted to come up with a display idea. And my initial idea did not work because it had too much display space and I don't have enough product, so it would have looked empty. So I swapped it around and... Yeah, my room's a mess. <laughs> so I have additional things over there. I have my mess of my table over here and then the results of all of my tinkering is this my little display thing I don't have a six by two table so I marked off the dimensions with painters tape on my floor so I, I moved it out of the way so I could sit but this this should fit it so yeah so I got my big prints up there, I got my little prints right down there, and I got my buttons right there. It is attached to that wire thing with a bunch of tape on the back just so I can make sure it looks good. I am probably going to find a different way to attach it before the actual convention. But I think this is the best use of the space because like I said, beyond this stuff, all I'm really going to have is some originals and signage. So I'm not going to have a whole lot of merch. So these little um, stuff behind are going to be like where I'm going to hold supplies like the five by sevens in a little folder um bags or whatever my money uh maybe snacks that me and alicia are gonna have and then the space of the table between because it's gonna be pushed almost to the front um the little space in between or and just in front of it, it's gonna be where my sign my price signs are and any originals i have for sale that's the plan anyway so yeah I took some pictures with my phone so that i have the layout saved um, and now I get to clean it up and put it away, which is going to take a while, but I'm not, like, sleepy yet, and I have a snack right now, so, because I'm having wicked heartburn right now, and usually the only thing that makes it go away is eating a small snack, so I'm going to do that and clean this up, and then eventually go to bed, but yeah, this is kind of what I wound up doing all night. Hello, it's Wednesday, I haven't vlogged in a few days, sorry about the noise, my AC is a little loud right now. Um, but it's warm enough that I need it. Uh, so I'm can't. Oops, I'm canceling the stream today um, because I got this in. This is the uh, storage unit thing that I cube organizer thing. I built that last night and today, and I got some of these to go in there. So literally today, I'm just gonna be reorganizing. This is gonna replace this whole thing, so I got to clean it out throw some stuff out and box up a few things to go in the basement that I don't really need or whatever and kind of go from there. And then when that's done, I'm going to go through and reorganize my other plastic drawers. So that's basically what today is all about. When that's done, um, I'll show you, uh, I got more convention prep stuff done the other day, but I'm going to clean first because it's on my mind and I'll show you that later. So it's Thursday night. <clears throat> Today was interesting. Um, ran Patrick up to work. We did grocery shopping and uh, I edited a video and the rest of the day just felt kind of gross. So beyond that, it was just kind of resting. Um, but yesterday, I finished that. So the bins have all stuff in them. Um, the bottom has art books. I actually had to swap some out with my bookshelf down there because these um, shelves weren't high enough for some of the books that I was going to put in there. So I had to get creative so I could fill the space. Uh, that one has the next one right there. Let me zoom in a little bit. It's mostly sketchbooks. That one is the accordion folder is my completed artwork to date. And then I have some shipping supplies and my stickers. And then that is some art supplies, <coughs> random art supplies mostly. It's my Arteza stuff. Um, the little baggie is stuff for my next art video. Uh, for next week, and then I have a couple other things. One of them is from a cheap art supply challenge I've already done, and then the markers are something I think I'd like to do a video with. And then the baskets have random stuff. Bottom one has my acrylic stuff in it. The next one up has random shipping supplies. That one has odds and ends, and that one has um, toiletries that don't fit under there, and also odds and ends. So, like, I've got a pack of batteries in there. I've got 
um, another bottle of body wash, another bottle of shampoo for when I run out, stuff like that. Um, new toothbrush, which I actually have to open up, stuff like that. That box right there is my old laptop, and that one is a bunch of stuff that doesn't really have a place in this room, but I still want to keep. Like my high school yearbook and my diplomas and um, <clears throat> a couple other stuff that I just don't use. So these no, th these those need to go into the basement. I just haven't gotten around to that yet. Um, I also cleaned out all of my plastic drawer units, so that one got completely cleaned out. The one in my desk got completely cleaned out. I threw out everything I'm not using anymore. Reorganized. Nothing's completely done. Like I'm pretty sure. I'm going to rearrange more things, probably the closet shelves as well. But for the most part, it's good. So it's something I'm just kind of hack away at now and then while I'm thinking about it. Um, but yeah, I also did some sketching for my art video for next week. <clears throat> it's a challenge I'm doing with some other artists, I think. I still need to confirm when we're posting um, or if they're going to post with me. I need to because I've got plans for June. So. Um, so I did some sketches and I also did my final line art, so I'll paint it next week, I think. Maybe tomorrow, if I have time. I need to clean out Diamond's Cage and Saturday I'm leaving, so I guess I kind of see how tomorrow goes. If I wake up early enough, I might have time to do it, which would put me ahead of schedule, so I guess I'll figure that out. But for now, I'm just relaxing because I don't feel so great today, so I guess I'm giving myself the evening to just kind of chill, I guess. Um... My cat print order is in the mail. I'm supposed to get that next week. So I think I'll just wait till sometime next week or in another vlog to show all of my convention stuff. Um, I have everything packed away and I don't really feel like getting into it right now. So, um, yeah. But I've already decided um, all of my June art videos are going to be convention related. I just have to write out a plan of how I'm doing that. Um, so some of that footage I might just save for my art video because it just kind of makes more sense to do that so yeah anyway i'm still binge watching brooklyn 99 um i'm in season four now been watching it ever since the uh cancellation slash pickup happened last week because it's just so dang good so i guess i'm just gonna keep doing that and maybe doodle a little, a little bit or something i don't know hello so it is friday um Let's see. I cleaned Diamond's cage last night because just before I went to bed, he came out of his hide bowl and was being cute and just kind of hanging around. And I was like, all right, you know, he's in a good mood. Let's clean his cage now because now he's kind of curled up and comfortable in his hide bowl. And if I pull him out, he might throw a fit. So I took care of that. Um, I ran out to Walmart today. I got Monster because I needed some today. I was just not waking up well. I also got some shelf pegs for that because I lost the ones that came with this. And thankfully, I found some that fit. So yay, shelf is back in there, and I'm probably going to use this for like storing prints and stuff because my cat print boxes fit there perfectly. I also got a notification that my major cat print order, the final order, shipped. I should have that Monday. I'm leaving tomorrow to go to Lowell, so today's going to be the last day for the vlog. So today what I need to do is um, I've decided I'm going to work on my art video for next week because I did the line art already, although I got distracted because of a Discord chat that was started by Hello Alice and uh, Jelly Bee and a bunch of other YouTubers starting another group chat for artists. Um, and I immediately jumped in because, you know, I want to get to know other artists and there's a lot of them in here that I follow and I really like. And so I've been distracted by chatting to people. Um, but I'm going to need to leave and work on art today. So, I also planned out my videos for June, which each one's going to have. I just got to figure out how I'm recording that, but I'll worry about that next week. So, I can show you what the art is for next week, though, because I'm behind on uploading vlogs. Um, so, the one that's going up on Sunday is a vlog from a couple of weeks ago. And then this one is going to go up the Sunday after that, which is also the Sunday after this art video. So... No matter what, it won't go up before. So here's my line art. I have a mermaid because it's May and mermaid's a thing right now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint it with Kool-Aid. I have um, the muffin tin to use as a, a palette. So that's the challenge I started. I'm gonna remind the other Discord group that I'm a part of 
because uh, I asked a few of them to collab with me on this. I'm going to remind them that I'm planning on posting mine next week and ask them if they want to. No matter what, I have to because my plan is involved and I'm like, hey, if you guys can't, it's fine to do the challenge whenever, but i got to post it next week because my schedule. So, yeah, that's what I need to work on today, assuming I don't get distracted with Discord because everybody's really chatting today and it's just, I'm having a little too much fun. Alright, I finished my art video. Um, I'm not going to bother to show it in the vlog. Um, it'll go up on the art video, which will probably already up by now, and it's going to get posted to Instagram and stuff like that. And mostly it's already put away and I don't want to get up. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm very pretty happy with it. Um, obviously it was painted with Kool-Aid, so there were some difficulties, but I'll save that for the actual voiceover, but it was still fun. Um, and I like the art enough that I think I might turn it into a sticker. Um, that was something I was planning on doing, so, because I didn't add a background for that very reason. Um, still going with the Discord. I left that open on one, um, monitor, and this monitor's been playing Brooklyn Nine-Nine all day, so, yeah, this, this group chat with the YouTube artist is huge right now, so, I've been having fun with that. Um, Patrick is going out to see Deadpool 2 with his friends. Um, I'm not going because I'm seeing it on Sunday with my friends. Shay already bought tickets. Um, so I think for the rest of the evening, I'm just going to chill. Um, probably just going to hang out in Discord and just kind of continue talking with people and binge watching more Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Um, and whatever, and then I'll eventually I'll go to bed and probably do a little bit of prep, um, for tomorrow, but I'm not leaving till just after lunch, so. Yeah, but, uh, I think I'm going to end this vlog now. Um, because I'm starting up a new one tomorrow when I go visit. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.